The audience is now really on the topic. So they are really trying to understand because the concept is new. Renewable energy community is a new concept. So we cannot think that people will get this concept immediately. So they are curious, they are very open-minded. When Andrea Ferrante speaks of people, he means the inhabitants of Galese. Just under 3,000 people live in the small, picturesque town in the province of Viterbo, about 90 kilometers north of Rome. Fields and farms are characteristic of the agricultural rural area. Producing and distributing the province's goods sustainably is important to the inhabitants. Andrea is an agroecologist and a member of Bio Distretto della Via Amerina e delle Fore, a cooperative for ecological agriculture in the region. Together with the European Redream project, the foundation wants to take the next step and develop into an energy community. Redream had an essential role in all that, because through Redream we build awareness in the community of what is energy, why we should change our relation to energy, because it's clear that till yesterday, let's say, we were just consumers, somebody else was producing the energy and we were just consumers. A family farm just outside Galese is a prime example of the initiative. The Cupidis run an organic egg farm. More than 150 years of tradition do not prevent the family from change and from leading energy conscious lives. Claudia and her father Alessio are proud of what they have achieved so far. La scelta di diventare più sostenibili ci ha anche permesso ehm, in realtà di sviluppare l'azienda. Inoltre intorno insomma a queste fonti di produzione di energia rinnovabile abbiamo anche costruito dei percorsi didattici. Quindi questo ci ha permesso di ampliare l'offerta per i nostri consumatori, insomma i nostri visitatori e allo stesso tempo ci ha permesso anche di esprimere un concetto di sostenibilità ancora maggiore sul nostro prodotto principale che sono le uova. The whole family helps with the packaging and delivery of the organic eggs. Photovoltaic solar panels and a biomass plant with wood chip combustion are the main suppliers of energy on the farm. This means the energy for the entire farm is produced sustainably. It's almost self-sufficient. To measure the energy production and consumption of each connected household, the Redream project's Spanish partner, STEMI Energy, has developed smart devices and intelligent software. The fuse-like devices can be used to monitor heat pumps, hot water boilers, electric heaters, air conditioners and other appliances. The Cupidis have recently installed all the digital devices. Together with Giacomo Nardoni, the Redream project coordinator in Galese, Alessio Cupidi takes another look at the installations. Sì. Credo che il progetto Redream sia, diciamo, una parte che deve essere assolutamente presa in considerazione all'interno di, di una comunità energetica, è uno strumento che è utile, che comunque ci permette di capire esattamente eh, la parte produttiva e la parte consumatrice di questa energia. In order to use this new renewable energy more flexibly, as many households as possible will be networked in the future. This is made possible by the smart technology of the Redream project. For example, all residents can benefit from locally produced energy. The real local energy community is being created. Another crucial element of the Redream project is the specially developed mobile application. It allows the consumer to visualize the consumption of their electric devices. The app offers small day or week challenges to the user to find ways to lower their energy consumption. For Alessio Cupidi, this is a helpful addition. Sicuramente uno strumento utile eh, non certo magari a livello aziendale, ma piuttosto che a livello domestico, sicuramente anche questo ci dà la possibilità di capire e vedere 
quanto l'elettrodomestico eh, effettivamente consuma. Andrea Ferrante e Giacomo Nardoni sono happy about the first participants. More than 20 are expected to join in the coming weeks. Regardless of the results and the feedback from consumers, the two enthusiasts say that the energy community is the only logical result of the energy transition in their community. Let's say that this is central because the energy community is exactly the way you link together people on through energy. So we started in our territory linking together people thanks to local sustainable food systems. So with this culture, we are linking together people through the energy consumption. And they understand that this energy is produced locally, it's consumed locally, and those things have to go together. 